Does it really matter? And this video is about matter, and so it's a play on words. We won't get the right answers unless we ask the right questions. And so there'll be three questions that are posed in this video. Matter, for example, a human body. Matter consists of many different molecules, which are comprised of different atoms. And different atoms are really just a difference in configurations of protons in the core. So here's the first question. If all of matter is simplified to atoms, and atoms are simplified to different configurations of protons in the nucleus, why do we see dozens of particles emerging from protons when they collide? Breaking it down further, inside the atom's nucleus are nucleons, such as protons and neutrons, which are believed to be made of quarks. But in a process known as beta decay, a neutron can decay to become a proton while ejecting an electron. So here's the second question for you to think about. If protons and neutrons are made of quarks, why does an electron emerge from a neutron during the decay process? And now for matter interaction. Electrons and positrons are attracted to each other and annihilate completely disappear in the process. Yet when an electron is attracted to a proton, it forms an orbital and becomes an atom. So here's the third and final question. If a proton and a positron have the same positive charge, why does an electron annihilate with a positron yet orbit a proton? Do you think you have the answers to these questions? Or do these questions even matter to you at all? If so, please subscribe to this channel and feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments.